What is up guys? This week's video is not going to be the normal happy fun video. I never planned on making this video. I never really wanted to make this video. But at this point, I feel like I need to make this video. Recently, one of my fan pages just committed suicide because of depression and being hated on, which is what I've dealt with. So I feel the need to make this video and tell you guys what I did to overcome depression and overcome the hate comments, which I still do to this day. Um, I just don't want suicidal thoughts, depression, and hate just to exist in the world anymore. So I'm gonna make this video tell you guys what I do and did, and I hope it helps. So yeah, let's get started. So if you don't know who I am, you're probably asking yourself, well, what do you know about it? Uh, a little background on myself. All throughout high school, I dealt with hate and depression and suicidal thoughts. Let's just say not a lot of people liked me in high school for reasons that didn't make a lot of sense, but I overcame it. I'm perfectly fine. This last year has been the best year of my entire life and I'm 100% fully grateful for the events that occurred to me. I'm just gonna tell you guys what I did to overcome it and still do to this day with hate comments, with other people's opinions, and I just really hope it helps. So here is what I would do if I was still in a situation of depression, suicidal thoughts, or not feeling like yourself. My first step for you would be to not commit suicide. Being made fun of is not forever. I'm not fitting in is not forever. Committing suicide is forever. People preach that it will get better, not just to preach it, but because it truly does get better. When you commit suicide, not only does it end your life completely, so you never get to see what happens. You end it. It's the permanent solution to something that will not last. You also hurt your friends, you hurt your family, and surprisingly you could hurt people even over the internet. Recently one of my fan pages passed away. I've never talked to her, which it breaks my heart because I was one DM away. I could have just DM'd her, done something just to keep her above water. It just, it hurts me that this happened to one of my fan pages. So I don't know where she's from. I had a little conversation with her mom, but I didn't get really in depth with information because I like to keep that with the family. They're going through a hard time, so I didn't want to put a burden on the family. But suicide hurts a lot more than just ending your problem. It creates problems in everybody else's life around you. For me and what I went through, um, now that I have the knowledge that I have, depression does not last forever. I know while you're in depression, while you're in high school, while you have suicidal thoughts, you think it's the worst it could get. Oh my gosh, how bad is this? And you think the world around you is ending, but it's not. And I promise you, I promise you, it will get better. If you think about it, when have you ever heard an adult complain or be, or have suicidal thoughts off of not fitting in. It's very rare. There are other ways to overcome it. My advice to you would be go and find something that you love, whether it's drawing, whether it's writing, whether it's reading, go watch movies. So every time you're depressed, go play your favorite movie. Get in a good mood. Go hang out with your brother or sister. You need to find ways to keep you happy, whatever it is. It doesn't matter what it is. It could be eating flowers for all I care. As long as you are getting rid of your suicidal thoughts and your depression, that is the only thing that matters. So my advice to you would be find something you love that takes your mind off of what people are saying about you and takes your mind off of all the negative things in your life. You need to find something that brings a massive positive and bright light into your life. So I'm gonna do some numbers right now for you to make you feel a little bit better. So for me, if you asked me, I would say pretty much my whole school didn't like me. So let's just say that my entire school, my entire school, every single person genuinely did not like me and made fun of me. I'd say that's like 3,000 people. There are seven billion people on the planet. 
So if all 3,000 people hated me, the percentage amount of people on this planet that don't like me are 0 0.00000043. So if my entire high school hated me, I'll tell you again, that is 0 0.00000043 percent of this planet does not like me. That is literally like picking up a piece of grass and throwing that piece of grass away. It will get better after you leave high school. It's rare that you even talk to a group of people. I talk to two people from my high school and I have to go out of my way to talk to them. People's opinions don't matter. If someone doesn't like you because you're good at a sport, train harder and get better at that sport. If someone doesn't like you because they're jealous of how your body looks, get a better body. If someone doesn't like you because of how good your style is, go get some new clothes. Kill them with being successful. Kill them by doing what they don't like. People didn't like my social media. People didn't like the fact that I was growing followers on the internet. I let that affect me and I deleted all of my accounts. I wish I could go back and get my accounts and get as big as I possibly could and walk by those people who didn't like me with a smile on my face and my account walking past them just like this every day just so they could see my success kill them by being successful don't create an altercation don't let them win use their hatred as motivation if I could go back to high school I wouldn't change getting hated on I wouldn't change being made fun of I would change not letting them get to me I would change not letting them see that they were affecting me I should have came to school with a smile on my face I should have came to school and focused on my grades focused on my sports and became the best human I could possibly be but I folded I I let the hate get to me I tried to fit in and that didn't work. I eventually had to leave high school, go into independent studies, which is homeschool. And again, I wouldn't change getting hated on. That made me the person I am today. It showed me that I could overcome anything. I would change how it affected me. And I would use the hatred as motivation to become more successful. Because of them, I am where I am today. I thank them every single day for hating on me every single day in high school. I am having the absolute time of my life living with my best friend, making content for you guys, hanging out with amazing people all day. Without high school, without being hated on, I would not be here. So embrace it and overcome it. And to all the haters out there, I have absolutely zero respect for you. I don't even want to be talking to you right now. So all those people that are going to dislike this video because I'm trying to help people with depression, my question to you is, what is your purpose of hating on somebody? All you're doing is creating a negative atmosphere in the world. All you're doing is hurting people. You're causing people to be depressed. You're causing people to look in the mirror and hate themselves. And it's even getting to a level where you're killing people. So right now, let's have a moment of silence for one of my favorite fan pages for a friend of mine that recently just committed suicide, Chelsea. Remember to spread positivity, not negativity, guys. I'm always here for you. Let's get lost tonight. You could be my black Kate Moss tonight. Play secretary on the ball tonight. And you don't give a f what they all say, right? Awesome, the Christian and Christian Dior. Damn, they don't make them like this anymore. I ask, cause I'm not sure.